I know, I, I know it's, it's not the most fun. You, you have the right. CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference, is going on this weekend. And from the get-go, it's already ridiculous. So I have several clips here to show you. Let's just get into it. Uh, this stuff to me is, yes, it's funny. It's always funny. But it's just crazy to me that people can watch this crap and uh, be like, yeah, this person represents my views. So let's start here <laughs> with this. Here are the CPAC hosts getting booed because they're asking people to wear a mask. And I know this might sound like a little bit of a downer, but we also believe in property rights. And this is a private hotel. And we believe in the rule of law, so we need to comply with the, the laws of this county that we're in. Um, but a private hotel, just like your house, gets to set its own rules. Carly, our CPAC director. Well, as Dan mentioned, we are in a private facility, um, and we do want to be respectful of the um, ordinances that they have as their private property. So please, everyone, when you're in the ballroom, when you're seated, you should still be wearing a mask. So if everybody can go ahead, work on that. I know, I, I know it's, it's not the most fun. You, you have the right. All right. Uh, I mean, what do you say to that? Of course, of course they're going to boo um, wearing a mask indoors. Look, it's one thing if they were outside and, I don't know, spaced out, or if the vaccinations had hit a point yet where you could be confident in grouping with people, but none of those things are going on. So wearing a mask is kind of the bare minimum when you're indoors around a lot of people. And uh, still, doesn't matter what happens. Doesn't matter that the president, that Donald Trump had COVID. Doesn't matter that people in their families, friends have died or had COVID and, and had serious illness. None of this matters, apparently. Wearing a mask is, is a bridge too far for these people. Next clip here. This is a uh, right side broadcasting. Um, having to jump in to basically put a disclaimer out saying that we don't agree with everything being shown here. 42,000 votes, 45,000 votes, something like that. And we would have had an electoral college uh, vote of 269 to 269. There's a lot of Back sensitive then, topics Republicans that are being talked about right now. We want everyone to do your own research in regards to what they're talking about in this discussion right now. Uh, anything with the election or anything like that. So mm -hmm. uh, it's important to do your own research. I know there's several outlets here that are able to completely uh, broadcast all of this content uh, for you with any disclaimer at all. But unfortunately, here at Right Side Broadcasting, we must jump in here and put a small disclosure that we want you to do your own research, and it's very important that we do that. Yeah, absolutely. Just quickly, although we are broadcasting these speakers, we want to provide you with that. It does not mean that we necessarily believe or support all of their beliefs of every single speak speaker talking today. So make sure that you research everything. You talk to your healthcare position physicians, whether it's regarding COVID or medical information, and if it's um, election related, just look look it up. And look everything up, and we are just not endorsing any speakers for the event. Again, we are simply broadcasting these speakers. Absolutely. So we hope you're enjoying all of our speakers we have on stage today and all this content. And, and just we just want to remind you, we're just doing this out of pure safety in regards to being canceled on the tech side at all. So we'll send you back into the uh, arena, but we just wanted to let you know, do your own research. Thank you. How many times there did they repeat, do your own research? I think what this is about, I think they're afraid of a potential lawsuit. As uh, we've seen with um, a lot of the BS pushed from Newsmax and Fox News over the Dominion voting machines, they got sued over that. So this uh, right side broadcasting here doesn't want to be in a situation where they're also being sued for airing a lot of these conspiracies uncritically. So they jump in here to mention how, do your own research, we don't agree with the stuff, just to uh, cover their bases. Next up here, um, th <laughs> this is amazing. I'm just gonna play this and I'll comment afterwards. And where are we safe? So is there a safe place for conservatives? Well, my first guest that is gonna come out and talk to you guys is a man that said several years ago, we gotta find a safe place for conservatives because they saw it coming. You could see that they wanted to silence us. A founder, a CEO, that started something called Clout Hub. 
where you have a safe place as a conservative, where you will not be banned for what you say. All right. Uh, this is beyond parody. Conservatives endlessly cry about safe spaces on college campuses. Here they are suggesting their own safe space. Uh, man. Of course, hypocrisy uh, appears to never have any effect on these people. Let's go to uh, the next clip. This is just Ted Cruz being weird. Bernie is wearing mittens. And AOC is telling us she was murdered. <laughs> All right, that was just weird. Uh, Ted Cruz, of course, one of the weirdest people in politics. Um, this is also a way just for me to bring up this story. <laughs> Ted Cruz may have um, bought his own book using campaign funds. And if so, then that's going to be a problem. So there's a big piece in Salon about this. You can check out their story on this if you want more information. But uh, I wouldn't put it past him, of course, uh, to buy his own book in bulk with campaign funds. Next clip. Here is a... Uh, Tom Cotton um, lying to his audience about why they have to hold CPAC in Florida. Cases are plummeting and vaccination rates are surging. We are still banned from getting anywhere near our nation's capital. Now contrast that with what happened last summer with the BLM protests there. Thousands of people in the streets as cases were surging. Did Democratic politicians try to lock that down? No, they went out and marched with them. Now, maybe if CPAC had promised to burn down buildings and tear down statues, they would have let us up there. Yeah, um, notice how he talks about protests in the streets and CPAC is taking place indoors. So the reason why they're in Florida is because this is a place where they're actually allowed to hold this event indoors. They're not allowed to hold these this indoor event in the states that he's talking about. So again, just acting like, oh, we're not being led up there to, to, to do this show. Meanwhile, Democrats were, were um, you know, protesting out in the streets with, uh, with BLM protesters. Yeah, they were outside in the streets wearing masks. You guys are indoors not wearing masks. That's the problem. Last one here. Here is uh, uh, Marsha Blackburn um, discussing their uh, dear leader. I've been through it too, but nobody has been hit by this like President Donald Trump. First, they decided they were going to fact check him, the leader of the free world. So here, Marsha Blackburn is uh, whining about social media fact checking Donald Trump. The leader of the free world. Yeah, if you lie, you get fact checked. But these people, their dear leader, how dare you fact check our dear leader, our supreme leader. Um, he's always right about everything. And yes, Donald Trump is still their dear leader, even though he's no longer in power. I'm curious how long that's going to last, but I think it's going to last quite a while. So uh, that's the state of the Republican Party right now at CPAC.